This is Skyblock Infinite, a version of Skyblock where every structure and biome is in the game. And today, I'll be playing it for the first time ever on hardcore mode. This is episode one. And for this episode, I have three main goals. Firstly, I want to build some farms, since in Skyblock, food and materials are super hard to come by. Next, I want to expand our main island into an amazing starter base. And by the end of the episode, I want to explore some of the closest outer islands. Here we go. Skyblock Infinite's hardcore mode. Let's do this. This is also a random seed, so I hope I get something good. Oh, we're falling. And oh my gosh, I don't think this could be any worse, to be honest. We spawned in a desert biome, but this is Skyblock after all, which is already going to be pretty difficult. So I think this desert biome is going to give us a real challenge. So I'm just going to keep it. Oh, and we have a jungle biome right here too. Okay, so it's not too bad. But let's see what else we have around here real quick. Looks like we have a desert temple and a desert village super close by, as well as a camel. <laughs> I hope this guy doesn't fall into the void. Over here, we also have a mangrove biome, and then way off in the distance, we have a savanna biome. And it looks like there's also a bunch of other tiny structures around here as well. But I think our first task is going to be to get some wood from this jungle biome. And how am I going to do that? <laughs> Let's see what's in this chest. Okay, we have bamboo and a crafting table, as well as glowberries, a lava bucket, sugarcane, and 10 obsidian. I think since we have a crafting table, I should be able to plant this bamboo. And then once we have enough of it, I'm pretty sure we should be able to craft up. Oh no, our camel just fell. No. Oh gosh. Well, whatever. <laughs> but as I was saying, once we have enough bamboo, I'm I'm pretty sure we should be able to craft it into some wood. But for the time being, we're just gonna have to wait for this stuff to grow. Okay, I've made quite a bit of progress and I have this entire island full of bamboo now. I can't believe it's taking me this long to get wood. This is such a difficult start. But we have 20 pieces of bamboo now and I think I should be able to go like this. Yeah, nice. We can craft up block of bamboo. Okay, and then we can craft it into planks. Nice. And I also need some sticks. Let's grab my extra one in here. I also punched the dead bush and got rid of the cactus. There we go. Let's go like this and like this. And there we go. We have our first wooden pickaxe. Oh my gosh. It only took me like 15 minutes to get a wooden pickaxe. But now I think the next logical step is going to be to make a cobblestone generator. Since once we have that, we'll be able to get some blocks and head over to this island to get some wood. So let's clear out a little area around here. I think I want to build my generator just like right here or something. I'm pretty sure I know how to do it. I think it's like this, right? Please. Okay. Let's see. Does it work? Okay. It works. Nice. Um, I feel like my bamboo is going to burn down though. So let's just get rid of it around the lava. Now let's get three pieces of stone. There we go. And now I should be able to craft up a stone pickaxe. Amazing. We're making progress already. Let's just sit here for a bit and get a little bit of cobblestone now. I think that might be a recurring theme of this episode. <laughs> lots and lots of time spent at the cobble generator. This should be good. And then I'll craft these into slabs. Nice. We have 60 slabs now. So I think next up, let's go to this island and get some better wood. No offense to bamboo or anything, but I think real wood would be a little bit better. Let's go down like this or something. Oh, I'm scared. Let's bridge out to it now. This is terrifying. Let's make a little platform surrounding this now, since eventually we're going to mine this entire tree. And I don't want any saplings to fall into the void. Okay, we're already out of cobblestone. We're gonna need to do some more cobble gen mining, I think. Let's see if I can set this up in a little bit of a better way. Let's try to go up here and grab a slab. There we go. I'll place this slab right here. I'll place a block right here. And now I think I should be able just to stand in this and it'll greatly reduce the risk of this stuff burning. Yeah, nice. Stuff is still burning, but I think this works a little bit better. But let's just sit here for a bit and get some more cobblestone. Oh, we got cobble collector. I did not know there were custom advancements in this. Oh yeah, look, get a stack of cobblestone. Nice. <laughs> okay, well, with a stack, we should be able to craft up six stacks of slabs now. Oh wait, no, only two stacks. My math was wrong. It's fine though. Let's use all this to expand our platform now. Oh no, things are on fire. Oh gosh, my bamboo, no. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to find a better spot for this. <laughs> Maybe I should just get rid of all this bamboo for now. We have tons of it now, so we should be good. I can always make a new farm later. I need to protect my valuable bamboo. So far, we haven't lost anything to the void yet. That's pretty good. Okay, right as I say that, obviously. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> but anyways, let's get back to expanding our platform. There we have it. Our platform is nice and expanded now. This should give us plenty of room to catch all the drops from these leaves. But I think first up, let's grab some dirt. Oh, and we made another advancement. Skyblock. Let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah, there are tons of new ones. Nice. Anyways, let's keep grabbing all this dirt. This is going to be our only dirt for the time being. And let's see what's up here now. Okay, we have a flower. We have some grass. No seeds the first time. We do have a melon, though. That's nice. We also have cocoa beans. More grass with some seeds. Nice. Two seeds. And that's it. Okay, nice. <laughs> Not bad for a first start. Let's head back over here now. And I want to make myself an axe. There we go. And now I'll climb up all these vines all the way to the very top of this tree. And we'll start chopping all of it down. Five 
finally, our first real wood. Let's see if we can get any saplings. I'm gonna carefully punch all these leaves. Come on, guys, give me something good. Come on. Oh, there we go. We got a sapling. Nice. Okay. So now everything after this is just bonus. We have three now. Okay. That's more than I could ask for. <laughs> Unless we do something super wrong, we should have an infinite supply of wood now. Let's just finish punching all these leaves and we'll continue mining up this tree. Okay, and just like that, we've completely decimated this island. It was for a good reason, though, since in total, we got eight jungle saplings, 28 dirt, and 59 jungle logs. Oh, as well as two seeds, 24 cocoa beans, and four melon slices. And a flower. <laughs> but I think now, since we have some wheat seeds, I want to try building some sort of farm. Let's just relocate our cobblestone generator. I think I'm going to put it somewhere over here. Let's just do something fairly basic. But I think we should be able to place our water into here, and then go like this. Okay, nice. Wanted to make sure that we weren't going to drop our slab. Everything in this world is precious. <laughs> but we can place our water and then our cobblestone generator. Nice. Let's also grab the wood and I'll place it right under here. This is kind of scary though. Oh gosh. Hurry up and break. I'm going to drown. <laughs> Hurry. Come on. Please just break already. Oh my gosh. Go. This is not worth it. Okay, it broke. And we lost the slab too. So it was not worth it. <laughs> Anyways, I think we're good to do something like this. Let's see if this works now. Okay, it does. Nice. Cool. Okay. <laughs> so we have that set up. And I think for the time being, since we only have one water source, let's just expand the dirt around here real quick. I'll craft up a new hoe and we'll plant our first pieces of food. Nice. Let's also plant some melons. There we go. And nice. We now have a slowly increasing food source. Taking all that damage from drowning was not good though. I lost so much health and hunger from that. But I think we might as well also plant my sugar cane. And with my extra cobblestone, I'll craft up a furnace. And I'm going to need to smelt up some charcoal since we are going to be doing something kind of dangerous coming up but with our charcoal we'll craft some torches and now we should be safe from mobs spawning on here let's just place a bunch of torches like this maybe one in every corner is good and one in the center for good measure okay but as i was saying we're going to be doing something kind of dangerous next up and here's why since we've already survived two nights in this world the next night is going to spawn phantoms and with no food and no protection having phantom spawn is going to be extremely dangerous but over here we have a village and inside of the village is something extremely important, and that is beds. Because with beds, we'll be able to skip the night and also the phantoms. And that should help us stay a whole lot safer. But to get over there, we're gonna need a ton of blocks. So I've crafted up a bunch of new pickaxes, and we'll head into our cobblestone generator, and we'll start the long task of getting some more blocks. Okay, it's just about to become nighttime. And I think I should have enough cobblestone. Oh, is this gonna be the night that phantoms spawn? I don't know. I think it might be. I do not want to deal with this right now. We may have one more night, but I'm not 100% sure. Either way, we're gonna have to craft up a ton of slabs and we'll start making our way over to this village. Oh, I'm scared. I'm gonna make these bottom slabs as well so no mobs can spawn on these. And I'm gonna place an extra torch right here so no mobs can spawn on my main island. And here we go, let's just do this. <laughs> I'm so scared. If I hear phantoms, I'm gonna cry. Okay, what's the progress like? Oh goodness, there's skeletons on top of here. No, and creepers. Oh my gosh. I bet there's extremely high odds that a mob spawns inside of here and sets off the pressure plates. I'm probably not even gonna be able to check out any of the loot in there. It's all just gonna explode in front of me. <laughs> oh my gosh, yep. Everything just exploded. I didn't catch it on recording, but I think I was recording with replay mod. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> All the loot in here is gone now. Oh my gosh. So is it even worth like going over to this? Probably not. I can probably just avoid it. Or maybe I'll just go under it. I don't know. Let's just keep bridging. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Okay, home stretch. We're almost there. I can hear cats and villagers. Hello. Okay, we made it. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Is there a bed in here? Oh, it's just empty. Okay. What about up here? Oh, there's a cat. Hello. Let's grab this. This is like scary. Village over the void. This cat's gonna like push me in the void. I just know it. Let's just go like this. Sorry, friend. <laughs> it's too dangerous to have you around. Okay. Um, we're almost there. Let's go like this. Okay, and here we are. Oh, we have more water too. Nice. We can now make an infinite source. <gasps> Whoa, and all that just fell. Okay. But like I said, we're here for one very important thing. Wait, what? This guy's head is in the ceiling. Are you okay there, buddy? What is going on? Oh my gosh, he's like stuck in there. 
What? Dude, are you okay? He's completely stuck. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Can I get him out? There we go. Now he's safe. Okay. But as I was saying, we're here for one very important thing, and that's a bed. We can finally skip the nights. And let's see here. Oh, we have a librarian. Look at that. We have books. That's amazing. And a lectern. Wow. This is actually a super good village. We do need to keep some of these villagers safe, though. So let's try to just trap a few of them in here, because they have been falling into the void. Let's trap you in here. Oh, there's two in here now. All we need is two. And there we go. They're trapped. Nice. It's for your own safety, guys. But for the time being, that's kind of everything that I'll need from this village. Maybe I'll grab some more wheat seeds. I don't know. Let's just do it. <gasps> Whoa, there's animals. I hear cows. Oh my gosh. This is like a god village. This is amazing. There's so much good stuff in here. Should I come back for this later? I don't know. I think I will. I'm kind of like overwhelmed right now. So let's make our way back home real quick. That's going to be over here. And let's try to get a good farm set up. <gasps> Whoa, wait a minute. Look. There's bones. Let's go grab those. Since it's daytime now, a bunch of the mobs died up here. Let's see, can I reach with my water bucket? Come on. Oh, let's try like right here. Here we go. Let's like parkour our way over. This is an unnecessary risk, I think, but it's worth it for the bones. Let's get up here now. We have to be careful of any creepers because those don't burn in the sun. But from what I can see, there's no creepers. Just lots of mob drops for us to grab. Let's see what else is up here. Oh, there is a creeper in there though. Let's not go in there. I think I'm happy with my few bones that I got. Okay, let's safely make our way back to our bridge. And there we go. We're safe. Nice. <laughs> we got two bones and two arrows from that. That's going to be very helpful for when we build our farm over here. But let's make our way all the way back home now. And we can now finally make an infinite water source. We'll go one and two. Infinite water. Nice. Another great milestone for Skyblock. But since I have tons of extra dirt, let's get a little farm set up. I think something like this should definitely do for now. We'll hoe all of this. And I'll plant up all my extra seeds. Nice. We're making amazing progress. But I think before we go do any more exploring at that village, I want to spend a bit of time farming and getting some food. Because right now, that's definitely the most important thing in this world. But it is going to be kind of boring, though. So I'll just be back once I have some food. Cue the farming montage. Okay, I've made quite a bit of progress over these last few days. We now have a farm for basically everything that we can farm. I have myself a wheat farm, a sugarcane farm, a glowberry farm, a melon farm, bamboo farm, and a cactus farm. But in all this time, this is how much wheat I got. 13 pieces. That's only enough for four pieces of bread. So I think since we have such limited dirt and we can't really expand our farm any more than this just yet, I have a better idea on how to get some more food. And that's going to be to take our wheat and head over to this village to get these cows. Oh, and there's more dirt over here too. Nice. But also in the meantime, I mined up a ton of cobblestone. We have just over 10 stacks now. So I'm going to craft up a few more slabs. That should definitely be enough. And now I think we should head over to this village and abduct these cows. Oh wait, actually, hold on. Before we do that, there is a little bit of preparation that we have to do. I'm going to take my logs and I'm going to craft them into planks and then into sticks and then into fences. Because once we get the cows, we're going to need a place to keep them. Where should I do this? We don't have much space on this island. I think I'll expand off in this direction, maybe. This is going to be very, very temporary, though. Just enough to get us a good source of food, and then we'll build something nicer. But let's place down all these fences. And there we go. That's going to be our cow area. Let's have a quick nap, and I'll also need to craft up one fence gate. And I guess I'll just put that, like, right here. Okay, nice. Our cow farm is ready to go. All we have to do is get the cows. And that might be easier said than done. These are probably the only two cows for thousands of blocks. I cannot mess this up. But here we are back at the village. Whoa, and there's a pillager out post over there. Oh my goodness. Not ready for that right now. But definitely in the future, that'll be super useful. But let's head over here now. Let's see. Yeah, the cows are up there. Okay. Hello, cows. I think for safety, I'm going to bring just one of these at a time. Because if we bring both at once, then they're probably going to push themselves off into the void. And that is the last thing that I want right now. Wait. Oh no. I only want one. Please, guys. Cooperate. No. How can I separate them? Can I go like this? There you go. You stay there, okay? <laughs> I'll come back for you. Let's bring this guy now. Please do not fall. Oh my gosh. This would be devastating if he did. Come on, you can do it. I believe. Okay, we made it. Come on, home stretch. Let's go into here. And there we go. Our first cow. Oh my gosh. That was stressful. Now we just have to repeat this one more time with the second cow. Okay. Come on, we're almost there. Home stretch. Okay, here we go. Come on, we did it. We finally have two cows. Oh my gosh. Let's breed these guys now. And here we go. Our first animals in this world. Oh my gosh. This is going to be so good. Oh wait, whoa. There's a new advancement? Animal friends? Wow, there's so many custom advancements. We'll definitely have to do some more of these later. But right now, since our main limiting factor to getting more cows and more food is our dirt, I think we should work on expanding this farm. I already got nine more pieces, which is good. Let's plant up all of our seeds. 
but if you see over here, there's a mangrove swamp biome that isn't too far away. And on top of giving us a second source of wood, it also has some dirt as well. And since I have tons and tons of cobblestone, I think it should be relatively straightforward to get over there. So let's carefully go over here and then we'll continue this over towards the mangrove swamp. And there we have it. We made it. Let's do the same thing that we did for the jungle biome and let's build a platform underneath this island since I don't want to lose any of the drops that we get from these leaves. Actually, wait, do these leaves even drop propagules or do they only drop from like right here? I don't know. Let's just still build the platform just in case. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized these are top slabs. Mobs are going to be able to spawn on this. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I think we should just build this platform, get all the stuff from here, and then we'll just tear this entire bridge down. <laughs> Okay, I think this should be good. Let's grab some dirt real quick. There's also some mud. Nice. I would like it if there was more dirt though. And I guess we'll head up here. Let's grab this propagule. Nice, we now have one. Here's our second propagule. Here's our third one. Let's go up here now and get all these logs. Okay, the mangrove biome is completely gone, and I've started the removal of this bridge. This might take quite a while though, so I'll just be back once it's all done. Okay, the path is finally destroyed. Oh my goodness. And we only got eight pieces of dirt from that. Was it worth it? I'm not sure. But let's just go ahead and expand all of this now, planting up some more seeds. There we go. Our farm is growing, and so are our cows. But I have a pretty good idea of how to make this go faster. First, I'm actually going to need a bit of this dirt. Thank you very much. And now over in this direction, I'm going to expand to make a tree farm. Because for this next project that I want to do, we're going to need a lot of wood. So first, I'll expand out this platform. This should probably be a good size. Now in the center right here, I'm going to place some dirt. I'll grab four jungle saplings, my two bones, and we'll grow ourselves a tree. Let's see. Will it work? Okay, it didn't work. We're going to have to wait for that. But I guess in the meantime, we can farm up some more stuff. And then also for this project, we're going to need a ton of blocks. So as we wait for our tree to grow, we'll mine up a ton of cobblestone. Okay, finally, the tree has grown. Let's gather up all this wood now. Okay, we have over a stack of jungle logs now. I'll replant these saplings. And now we should have enough materials to move on to our next project. And that task is to build a mob farm. Since from a mob farm, we can get tons and tons of useful items. Like carrots, potatoes, and iron from zombies. Bones from skeletons. And string from spiders. And I think I have a pretty good idea on how to pull this off. Now over here, this desert pyramid already has the rough shape of a mob farm. Like here's all the spawning platforms. Here's the drop shoots. Most of the work is basically already done for me. So my idea is to convert this desert pyramid into a mob farm. I think it should be fairly straightforward. But first, we'll just organize our inventory real quick. I'll grab all of my extra blocks, harvest up my very first melon, and I need to turn most of this wood into trap doors. We're probably going to have to use all my wood, to be honest. We're going to need lots and lots of trap doors, as many as I can possibly craft. Okay, a stack in 56. That might not be enough, but I think it's a good start. Let's smelt up a few more logs to make some more torches. I know, I'm burning my pretty mangrove wood. <laughs> it's fine though, we can always get more. Now we'll turn all this into some more torches. And I think that should be everything we need to go build this thing. I have tons and tons of blocks. I have my water buckets and my trap doors. Let's go see if we can pull this off. I'm already so scared. But let's see here. I think I'm going to access this from the side real quick. Let's just go up top like this. Hopefully no one's up here. Ooh. Scary stuff. Okay, we're safe for now. Let's see. Anyone in here? Oh, yep. There's a creeper and a skeleton. Oh, gosh. Let's block this off as well as this. And I also need to block off this entrance. There we go. Okay, let's start placing torches all over this. We're going to need to make sure that the only place that mobs can spawn is inside of here. Thankfully, I have a nice mod that helps me out with that. Let's also cover this up right here. And I'll go around spawn proofing all of this. Ah, uh, can I place some torches in there? Let's just put one. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm on three hearts. Oh, I don't want to die this way. <laughs> and it's about to become nighttime too. Oh my gosh. We might have to abandon this mission real quick. Let's just quickly finish the spawn proofing though. I think we can still do that pretty safely. I hear so many mobs in there though. Oh my goodness. But I think it should be all spawn proofed out here now, right? Yeah, everything looks good. Nice. We just have to worry about what's inside now. Oh my gosh. What if I went like this and put down some water? That way it'll wash all the mobs away. Oh, I don't want to be in here right now. And I'm going to try to place down some torches. We need to get this place lit up in here. Maybe I can just carefully break one of these blocks. Okay, that was some good progress. I'm just going to go around and do that. That seems to be a pretty good method. Oh, there's a skeleton right there, bruh. I don't like this. I think I need to get some more food first. I don't know. And that was also my last torch 
too, so we're gonna have to go restock. But we did make some pretty good progress. We got basically all the top lit up and most of the inside. So once we leave and come back, it should be much safer. But let's head back home real quick. I'll craft up some food, breed up my cows. I'll also harvest up some more wood, and I'll use this wood to craft up some more trap doors and some more torches. Okay, I think we should have everything we need now. I'm very scared to build this thing. I'm kind of terrified. This is gonna be so scary, but we have to do it. So let's do the same thing as before and head on top of here. I actually don't think I hear anyone right now. Let's see. Yeah, the F3 screen shows no monsters. Nice. Okay, let's head in here and light all this up now. Let's make sure all these little nooks and crannies are all lit up. Ooh, gosh, this is still dark over here too. Scary stuff. Let's light up these staircases too. Oh gosh, there we go. Nice. Okay, now since it's all lit up in here, I think we should work on the drop shoot down below first, since that way I can get a better idea of how this is all gonna work. But let's just count the amount of blocks that we're going down here now. One, two, three, four, five, nine blocks. Okay, so nine blocks from the bottom. It needs to be at least 18 blocks of a drop, I'm pretty sure. So we're just gonna have to extend this drop shoot. It's also a three by three drop shoot. I don't think that should be an issue. Normally it's two by two, but let's just roll with it. Let's head down here and do some some more building. Okay, a 22 block drop. Let's put some bottom slabs right here now. This will be where we actually kill the mobs. All right, now it's much safer. There's no more void down here. Let's head back up here now. And we can probably just go all the way up to the top right here. And then I should be able to build myself a little platform and mine all this out. Okay, that's the drop shoot all cleared out now. Now we just have to work out how we're gonna build the water streams. Let's see, how long is this? It's just seven blocks, okay. We might have to change up this pyramid a little bit. It just needs to be one block longer though. So let's go ahead and expand that on all the sides. Oh, and we have more sand too. Nice. I was actually running low on sand. Okay, I just realized that I got super carried away and I ended up building almost all of it. It's gonna be a double decker farm for max efficiency. I'm almost done placing in all the trap doors. And after that, that's basically everything we have to do. This was honestly extremely easy. Using a desert temple frame was a really good idea. It's actually the perfect size for this. But there we go. Those are all the trap doors. Here are all the water streams. It's basically done. Let's grab all of our extra materials inside of here. And before we test this farm out, I'm gonna have to go back home and get some food because I am getting close to starving to death. Okay, let's see here. Nice. We're in the perfect spots. Let's drop down right here and we'll head back home. Okay, we're back. I think I may have to harvest my first cows. Let's just braid two more real quick. There we go. And then we'll commence the harvesting. <laughs> Let's just harvest a few of these guys. I don't want to go too crazy. There we go. Eight pieces of beef. That should be fine for now. But look at that. That's our first real source of food. It only took us 17 Minecraft days. <laughs> okay. Nourishment. Nice. Oh, amazing food. I can finally sprint now too. Oh, this is going to go so much faster now. But we just have a few things left to finish up on our mob farm. It's looking pretty good from here. But let's head down here now and get the collection system all squared away. There we go. And now we have to turn it into a killing chamber. And now we should be good to try out this farm. I'm so scared. This needs to work. All right, let's head all the way up here now. And I guess I'll break in like right here. Okay, let's get rid of all the torches now. And there we go. It's ready to go. Oh, I'm terrified. As soon as we head down to the killing chamber, mobs should start spawning. Let's see. Oh, yeah. There's one, three, seven. It's working. Eleven. Oh, yeah. There's eleven mobs up there now. Oh, yep. Look, it's working. Hello. We did it. Nice. We got the advancement fake cave. I think for safety, I'm going to put some stuff around here like this just to be extra safe. There we go. Oh, these guys can see me. Hello. Oh, we can't reach the stuff in the middle. That might be a small issue. Okay, but we have all this down here now. Let's just get rid of some of these guys. Hello. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. This is like super OP. It's like the best mob farm I've ever built. Oh, iron armor. Wait, let's grab it real quick. Yeah, look at that. It only has five durability, but we got our first piece of armor. Oh, we're getting so much stuff. Oh my gosh. But we still have to worry about getting the stuff in the center. I think I may have an idea. Maybe if I put a trap door right here, <gasps> they can get out. Oh my gosh. Wait, I'm on two hearts. No, 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 no. Can they get out? I don't know. But someone just exploded. <gasps> okay, yep, they can get out. Okay, this is bad. Oh, I knew this would go wrong. Oh my gosh. I messed up, guys. I need to seal this off as fast as I can. Yeah, look, there's mobs outside. Oh, there's they're everywhere. Oh my gosh. What am I gonna do about this? I just ruined it. <laughs> okay. Hmm, we're gonna need some critical thinking here. But look at this, it's just overflowing now. <sighs> what can I do? Can I wash them off with water? Oh, they're trying to shoot at me, bruh. 
Come on. Oh my gosh. Well, there goes our helmet. You shot me right in the head. Oh my gosh. Yeah, everything is going terribly. <sighs> what? Oh, what did I do? Okay, I think I have an idea. So I'm going to break in right here. And then I'm just going to block all this off like this. There we go. Now, no new mobs can go down there. Now, I'm going to quickly run away here. Please don't shoot me. Oh gosh. Okay, we're good. We're safe. I'm going to run super far away, try to get all these guys to despawn. And then once we head back, there should be no more mobs down at the bottom. I took my amazing farm and I ruined it. What is wrong with me? Let's see here. Okay, they're all gone. Nice. Let's run back now and let's try to fix this. Okay, there's no one. Nice. Oh, crisis averted. There we go. Nice. Oh, and it got blown up by a creeper too. That's great. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, they're all up there. Oh gosh. Let's just repair this real quick. There we go. Now we should be able to come back up here and oh my gosh. This is bad. Let's just try to just sneakily kill these guys. Everyone just die already, please. Enough of this. Okay, hello, friends. Oh, gosh. Oh, I don't like this. Let's try to break a few blocks. Come on. Oh, they just keep spawning, bruh. I know I keep saying it, but this mob farm is actually just too good. Like, it needs to be worse, please. Okay, there we go. They're starting to fall off. Okay, come on. Wait, please. Oh, my God. Don't explode. Just go down already, guys, please. Come on. You can do it. Oh god, last block. There we go. Okay. Oh, the mob farm has been fixed. We haven't fixed the issue where we can't pick up the center blocks, but... Oh no! Someone's gonna explode. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Okay, but as I was saying, we haven't fixed the issue where we can't pick up the items from the center block, but I guess we'll deal with that later. If you guys have any ideas, please tell me in the comments. I would love to hear your suggestions. But we are getting the most important item, and that's bones. But hey, at least we have a fully functioning mob farm now. If anything, it's fully functioning too well. But since we have all these bones, I should be able to turn them all into bone meal. There we go, a stack of bone meal. I can finally grow some glow berries. We can start expanding this farm now. But most importantly, I can grow all this wheat and then harvest it, replant the seeds, and feed the wheat to my cows. Hello, friends. You guys are gonna give me lots and lots of food. Okay, I think it's safe to say that we finally have a stable source of food now. Our farms are really starting to be productive now. So with that taken care of, I think there's just one more thing that I wanna do for today's episode, and that's gonna be to expand our island even more. This purple terracotta block right here is the center of our spawn island. So I think I want to center a giant circle around this. That's going to give us so much more room for building and for farms. But we are going to need to gather up a whole lot of cobblestone for that. So let's bust out all of my spare stone pickaxes and let's get to work. I'll be back once I have enough blocks. Okay, I've managed to get quite a few cobblestone slabs. I also have some more in here and a ton more blocks in here. I think this should be enough. But let's start marking out the radius of this circle now. It's gonna be a 64 block radius. Honestly, kind of insane, but it's gonna give us so much space to do so much more stuff. So let's get to work marking out the outline and I'll be back once it's all done. Okay. <laughs> So this is the outline that is enormous. Oh my gosh. I think we should be able to do it though. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> this is going to be so cool. So I guess the only thing left to do is just to fill all this in. All right, so I'm still not done placing the circle. This is the progress so far. I'm getting super close to finishing. But as I was doing that, I found this guy. Now, normally in normal Minecraft worlds, wandering traders are just two free leads. But in Skyblock, these guys are extremely OP. And I'll show you why right now. This guy is selling oak saplings, red mushrooms, and kelp. Three things that I don't have access to. So we need to hurry up and buy some stuff from this guy before he despawns. And the only problem is that we don't have any emeralds to sell to this guy. But over in this village, we have villagers. And I think my best bet to getting emeralds is gonna be to make a composter. And then I'm gonna try to grow a bunch of wheat with all my bones. And we'll use that to sell to villagers to get some emeralds. So let's see here. How many emeralds am I gonna need? I need five for an oak sapling. Oh my gosh. Six for a red mushroom. And then nine for kelp. Okay, so we need nine emeralds in total. I think I'll get roughly three stacks of wheat. That should probably be good, right? So let's just grow this stuff up as fast as we can. Okay, I only managed to get two stacks of wheat and I'm all out of bones. Oh, okay. Looks like we're gonna have to go to our mob farm real quick. This thing terrifies me. All right, mobs, here we go. Let's spawn already. Give me some bones. Oh, we got a chest plate. Let's try to grab that real quick. There we go. Look at that. Our first piece of armor that has more than two durability. <laughs> but we don't care about chest plates. We only care about bones. Oh, I'm getting so much armor. Look at that. I almost have a full set now. <laughs> Even though it's probably all gonna break as soon as I get shot by one skeleton. Okay, look, we got boots. We have a full set of armor now. That's crazy. Ooh, witch. This is important. Glass bottles, nice. Okay, I'm just gonna spend a bit more time here getting some more bones. Okay, 51 bones. That should probably be good for now. And our guy is still there. He's just invisible. Oh, wait, there's mobs spawning on here. No. Oh, no, no, no. Um, okay. 
Hold on. I think we need to go to the village and sleep real quick. Ugh, I should have a bed with me, I think. Not just one back at spawn. Ah, nice. We got a bed. Okay, we're improvising right now. Let's break this, though. I would like that very much. Thank you. We'll keep this guy in there. And now we'll head back to our base. Hopefully, our wandering trader is still there. Okay, I can see him. Nice. And there's no mobs. Perfect. Okay, we're making progress. Come on. Okay, hello, wandering trader. I will have some emeralds for you very soon. Just wait for me, please. Okay, we're out of bone meal. Let's see how much we have. Nice, over three stacks. Perfect. That's exactly how much we'll need. Let's just replant all of this real quick. I'll drop off my extra stuff, heal up my golden chest plate, and let's go get some emeralds now. We're gonna need nine in total. Okay, hello. Who wants to be a farmer? I think this guy does. Mm, let's break in from the side right here. Hello, friend. Here's your composter. There we go. He's a farmer now. Nice. Hello. Okay, we have to reset you to get a wheat trade. Come on. There we go. 20 wheat for one emerald. Nice. Let's just spam this. There we go. Nine emeralds with some wheat to spare. Okay, let's go get our stuff from that wandering trader now. Oh, stressful stuff. These guys spawn so infrequently and their trades always change. So it's super important that we get the trades this guy is offering right now. Okay, we're here and he's still there. Oh, it's amazing. Hello, let's get our first oak sapling. Nice. Let's get our first red mushroom and some kelp. Nice. Oh, we got a bunch of advancements too. We got Kelp Me, and it unlocked a whole new tab for us. Farming. Nice. Okay. There still is one question though. When we grow this oak tree, are we going to get enough saplings back? Hopefully. Let's just get some bone meal real quick. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, first try. Nice. Please give me more than one sapling. Okay. So far, it's not looking so good. We've gotten one stick and one apple. Please don't do this to me. Oh, there we go. We got one and two. Nice. Okay. Oh, we finally have a renewable source of oak logs now. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. This guy spawned at like the perfect time. It's so good. But with our trades complete, we still have to finish up our circle and we're almost done. So here's a time lapse of me finishing it. Okay, here we go. The very last piece of cobblestone. Nice. <laughs> Check this out from up here. Oh my gosh. It definitely looks way too big right now, but I have some super cool builds planned for this world, and eventually we'll be able to fill all this up with some amazing stuff. But we made so much progress today. We started on just this tiny little island, and we managed to expand it to be this big. We built a mob grinder, got villagers, got three different types of wood, but most importantly, we got a reliable source of food and an infinite supply of wood and cobblestone. Not bad for a first episode. But that's going to be all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next episode where we're going to do some super cool stuff. Bye-bye.